What's up guys, this is Jared with X Truck Adventure. I'm out here in a parking lot outside my apartments today. I'm going to install some rally armor mud flaps. Um, I have rock blocks right now, but as you can see, they've done all the rock blocking they can do. They're held on by zip ties. The rear driver's side is completely gone. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I've got these laid out. I'm gonna jack the car up, get the tires off. Cause I imagine it's gonna be a lot easier with no tires. And uh, I'll get one side done and then I'll go to the other side. And after I get a grasp of how to do it, I'll show everybody else how it's done. When you have a cheap jack like me, this two and a half ton, you're gonna have to get some two by fours, not only for your jack, but also your jack stands and make sure you chuck the tires front and back. Well, look at this. Cut it off. Best to bring a brush. You're gonna need a brush. Brush all this out of here when you get when you get it open. Uh, this, I mean, the rock box were great. Don't get me wrong, but look at that. If you come, if you have them on there and you come down on a rock after your tire leaves the rock, it's gonna snap it. It just has no give. Look at this. This has give tons of give all right so first impressions rally armor sends a whole bunch of plastic hardware uh, with metal screws long metal screws and these which I'm not too fond of um, those go on the fronts on the very bottom of the metal hanger and I don't like that but I reused my rock blocks um, fasteners and the backers, the inserts that you put in, and they have metal washers on here too, like really nice high quality metal washers. So I went back with all that. Um, I mean, it looks good, but I'm not a big fan of that plastic clip retainer. I would rather have like a, a nut and a bolt on that, like a nylon nut with a small bolt black that look a lot better or even silver i don't care i'm not too picky um but that's the side done i'm gonna go ahead and uh do the rear looks pretty good yo watch this look watch this i was wondering why my miles per gallon was dropping i don't even know where it's coming it's coming from the inside right here I can't even see that. What is that? Is that just like a, a water release? I broke something? No, it's over there too. I see it. All right. Well, there's a shitload of dirt in there. But anyways, using these holes right here. Uh, these are the inserts that actually came with rock blocks. Um, these inserts are the absolute same that came with rally armor. And these are going to slide up on there like that. And um, I'm gonna mount it to it. I'll reuse a body clip. Uh, I had it just a second ago, but the body clip goes right here. Factory body clip. All right, so here it is installed. Um, got two of the backers that these screw into, and the plate is actually back there too. It's actually hidden back in between the trim. Pieces. You got to reuse this. Snap mine. Uh, there's studs on this backing plate and two holes. So two Phillips screws, two studs with two nuts. I'm having to use these plastic washers, and that's it. It's pretty simple. Okay. Pro tip: um, leave these loose. You can leave this tight as long as it's like straight up and down. Tighten this first, then go back and tighten everything else because if these are pushing the rubber that way, it's going to kink up and it's not going to lay very flat. First things first. take this and put it underneath my hitch. The next step is to get this old rock box, rock box flap off. You can see 
it's ruined it's snapped the rear end will fall straight down on a rock and while this hard plastic is really durable it just can't take a straight up and down shock like that take you a brush brush all the dirt off take the old clips off this is the same style clips that actually come with the uh, rally armor now the next step take your hardware and put these clips on it like that put those clips on it it's actually going to slide in between the body before you can do that you gotta take this out anyways you want to save this you're gonna need this later because it's actually going to go up in there We'll do this now. So, I'm hoping I'm getting some good footage of this. Because I really, I'm one of those guys that it's all spur of the moment. Let's do this now. Think about it later. And, you know, some guys got their scripts and all that laid out for their videos. And I'm just like, this is the script. So, this goes like this with these bumps facing towards the rear of the car. Um, in the in the book it says to put it like that, but no, 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 no sense in that. It's too much gap to span for that plastic clip. That'll be fine. Now I'm reusing my washers that came with the Rock Blocks kit. I'm not reusing the um, screws because these screws that came with rally armor are much longer so what you want to do is I found that you want to go ahead and get these threaded make some threads in this plastic some threads in the plastic inserts grab your mud flap one at a time put them in loose everything goes in loose until you're ready to be completely done with it take your factory clip go to the bottom clean the dirt out of this as best you can go to the bottom line it up oh gosh that's a tight fit screwdriver and line it up as best I can fit it all in there it goes now push it Let's see now it's in there these are two nylon lock nuts that's what this is for we're gonna take those and put them on those studs and we're not gonna tighten anything down still still leaving it loose mistake you see we got these plastic washers these plastic washers go on as well and 
and that's it. That's in there. Okay, so here's the installation of the front. So as you can see right there, that is um, rut blocks. It's broke. It's taking one too many hits. Look at this. You see these? These are these clips that come with the kit. You peel, you peel this back, this black piece right here. I'll go ahead and start taking it apart because I gotta take it apart anyways. But those pieces are already installed for me because I've already done it. So I don't have to do that step. So they're back up in behind the trim. You can actually see the threads that have been made. And I'm gonna be reusing the hardware as well. Um, another thing is, if we look real close at this picture right here, we've got a foam spacer. I'm gonna put that foam spacer. This goes like this. I'm gonna be putting that foam spacer on the back side of this about like right there, right here where my thumb is. So the first thing you wanna do is get some screws ready to go in this thing. Just everything, oh, the longer screw, I almost forgot, the longer screw goes in the bottom. On the body because it's got a longer gap. And the smaller screws go into the top. But with the rally armor kit, that won't matter because all the screws are the same length. And the, the, the hardware is really good, it's just I don't like the plastic spacers. I think that's kind of silly. tightened up like I shouldn't have done that we've got to put in um, the worst part of this which is this terrible little clip but this pushes through pushes through like this and then the spacer goes on the back or washer does and you just push the crap out of it like it takes a shitload of force but it goes like that. And then everything else gets tightened down. And that's it. That's 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 the install. That's all four of them done. Rally armor. And it's like if they're not straight, like that one's not very straight. I mean, it might be straight. It might just be the way my tire's cocked right now from being up in the air. Uh, it's super easy to take, you know, a uh, stubby screwdriver and just a uh, wrench, loosen it up, straighten it out. And the best part is if they hit something or something hits them, they're not going to shatter. They're going to take the abuse. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching my install. I'm gonna clean up my mess and uh, 